guys, it's that beige Coastal Magnolia. Are you ready for Christmas? And I know it's been a skinny minute since I've done a Christmas ornament video, but I'm going to do another one. And I've been doing a lot of Christmas videos, but I have a lot of art shows coming up. Christmas ornaments sell really well. I've been experimenting a little bit with making Christmas ornaments in like a one-shot deal where I'm not having to babysit the ornaments or do the ornaments in several steps. And I want to show you what I've been up to. So follow along to the video and let's get started. <laughs> I bought the pro pack of 100 ornaments. They're uh, flat disc ornaments and it's 25 in each pack. So there's four to a pro pack. And this is about half price of what you would buy in the store. I sell a lot of ornaments. So this is the best way to go for me. I'm using my mermaid trash for this project and I'll put a link in the description to the video where I showed you how I made it. Now for this project, I am not taking off the top metal cap because I want to try to make this a very simple, quick build. I am going to try a couple of things. So for the first five ornaments, I'm going to spread a thin layer of uh, Mod Podge. It, this is the matte Mod Podge because I didn't realize there were so many different kinds of Mod Podge, but this matte works really well. I mean, it's... Mod Podge is, is amazing. I really love it, but I didn't realize there were so many different varieties. So just spreading a thin layer on these first five. On these first five, I'm not going to use my mermaid trash. I'm going to use some sand, just that I've, it's sand from my beach. It has a little bit of glitter in it. And I just want to see what kind of coverage I can get, what kind of look I can get if I just spread it on the ornaments this way. Now this first one, I'm not really happy with um, how much actually sticks to the ornament. It's still cute, but I'm just not really happy with the amount. So the second one I've put, um, I'm just going to add a thicker layer of the Mod Podge just with my brush, just kind of dabbing it on there and then, um, <clears throat> and then spreading the sand this way. And it works a little bit better. So I just go through the, um, the remaining three and doing it the same way. And this is covering a little bit better with the sand, but still not 100% what I want. And it's okay to experiment. Don't be afraid to experiment. That's how you find out what works and what doesn't. So the sand that's, that, um, you know, is left over in my overflow bucket, I'm putting into a shallow dish because I'm going to be working on plan B, which really it wasn't plan B, it was plan A, but I just, well, anyway, just keep watching. So this is kind of like a modified, um, mermaid trash. I just added a little bit of chunky sand and then a little bit of extra glitter to this mix. And I'm, this is the original way that I would normally do it. I would use some Aline's uh, clear tacky glue. It works really well, but I want to experiment with Mod Podge because Mod Podge just flows a little bit better and I kind of have an, have an idea. So this is my Mod Podge in my little squeeze bottle and I'm putting a little bit on the ornament and then I'm squishing it around in the mermaid trash. And that, that really does work. I mean, it looks like it wouldn't, but it really does. So I'm not putting the, the glue or the Mod Podge all over the back of the ornament. I'm just putting it in the center and as I squish it down into the mermaid trash, it it spread. You can see it in the video. You can see the um, the Mod Podge sort of smooshing out, and you see it there. It just it covers. Well, that side did, and I sort of missed that. But it, I mean, it really works, and I like I like this look better. And I'm pointing at my screen, like you can see me pointing, but um, I really. I really like the coverage. I really like how this looks. So a few extra sprinkles on top never hurt anybody. 
now adding this gorgeous tube confetti in aqua from the Dollar Tree. It's amazing stuff. It's so pretty. So now I'm adding, again, the Mod Podge to the ornaments and just squishing it down into the mixture. And it seems like more Mod Podge is the better idea. And then just squishing it around to make sure I have really good coverage. This is just the, the better way to, to cover the backs of the ornaments. Um, it's really easy, but it's also the best way. So I'm trying to find a quicker way to make these, but I also want the best way to make these. So not necessarily quicker, but better. And I think this is the better way. I let the Mod Podge dry for several hours and then just shook the excess off into a little tub to use for later. Really didn't lose that much. The Mod Podge works amazing. It really does stick. It's rock hard. Really, really love it. Mixing up my resin, KS Resin Liquidy Split. Use my discount code in the description underneath the video to get a 10% discount. Remember to always wear personal protective equipment like a respirator and gloves or eye protection or use a very well ventilated space like like I have. So now once my resin is mixed I am just putting on a thin layer with my gloved hands using my hands as kind of like the paintbrush and I'm only putting a layer on the back side of these ornaments the, the clear layer that does not have the sand. So each ornament will get a thin layer on the back side that does not have the sand. I'm not putting resin on the, on the sand part, the, the, the sand side, the side with the sand. And I wanna make sure to get, get the, all of the resin that I can out of, out of my container because I don't like waste, so. I mixed up 40 milliliters, which I think was perfect for um, perfect for for the 25 ornaments since I'm not putting resin on the backside. And I know you're probably wondering why I did not put resin on the sand part, and um, there's really no reason to with the Mod Podge. The Mod Podge itself just holds the sand really, really well. And this is also an experiment too, to see if I can save a little bit of time and a little bit of um, money in not using extra resin on, on the back part. But um, it, it's more so about saving, saving time because if I put resin on the backside, that's just extra time, and I probably would not be able to get these ornaments done in one day, because the whole purpose of this experiment was to see if I could get a set of ornaments, resin ornaments done in one day. So I guess it is about saving time and money. And now comes the fun part, using a small dropper bottle that, it's a needle nose dropper, that I put my alcohol ink in. This is the Pinata Aqua, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I start layering on the different colors, and that's when the magic really does start to happen. Look at what hap starts to happen when I add the, the white. This is the Pinata Blanco Blanco, and also comes in a big four ounce bottle. So I'm having to put it in a smaller bottle. Could you imagine trying to handle a big four ounce bottle? Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just layering on colors in, you know, in different orders and just seeing what kind of patterns I can create. And on these, just the aqua and the white and this was a super, super fun experiment. The white really starts to fracture out and the aqua starts to fracture out on the white. And then the more I layer, the more little, kind of little fracturing I get. And it's just, it's a really cool process to, to watch. And I think, an idea that I have maybe for a future video 
is set this um, on a time lapse as they're curing and as they're drying just to see how cool these patterns are and how how fun they are to watch and develop. Um, it was really fun to sit here and just play around with the different inks and watch them kind of bloom out a little bit. It This was just amazingly fun. I wish you could have been in my studio with me to watch this. It was just so, so cool. That is just so pretty. The white and the aqua together is really so, so pretty. This is gonna be fun to, to try this again. It's gonna be really fun. I'm in love with these. I'm really excited to show you these. Look at this, look at that one. Oh my gosh. I love these colors. They're so gorgeous. These don't need anything else at all. Literally a one day project. I'm gonna have to do this again. This is just so cool. I wanna play around a little bit with doing the layers of the inks like this um, to try to get more of the, like the anemone look. And it seems like this one, when I dropped on that last bit of blue, the, the resin had hardened up a little bit. So I did get the, the blooming here, but not as like, not as much. Um, and I think it was, this one maybe um there was one where it was this one so when i did the layering on the inks on this one the resin was still a, you know very much um very much runny and so at first I was really excited because i was getting that nice anemone look with the you know the little fractals and then as the ink settled into the resin of course it it all you know all ran out but um man i love these so i'm gonna have to play around with that a little bit i this is what it's this one this is what i want it to look like so i'm gonna play around with that next and some of these have a little bit more sand than the others but how pretty all of them all of them all of them now i did get some resin that seeped into the sand part and that's okay it looks great it looks absolutely wonderful and i did not put resin on this back side i have the mod podge on this side or yeah the mod podge or the tacky glue it was a mod podge and i did fine Drips look great. The drips look completely like I planned it that way. <laughs> love, love, love. Oh, look at that one. Look at this. It, it's like a like a deep sea wave. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys. I am in love. All I need to do is put the hangers and, or not the hangers, but my raffia ribbon. Look, oh my goodness, I love this. I love this so much. What a good experiment. Take a chance. This one's pretty too with the different colors. Take a chance and just try it. You don't know until you try. This one's pretty too. Mm-mm-mm. I got to try that one again. I got to try the amoeba look again. Sometimes these do stick. I love these drips. I absolutely love these drips. Look at this one. 
Oh man. I bet I could not recreate this if I tried, honestly. So it does seem like when I use the more fine sand, I got more of the resin drips on the backside. If that's the look I'm going for, I need to use the um, this fine sand rather than the chunky sand. But look how cute that is just with the resin drips. That is super cute. Super cute. I looked at that one. All right. Definitely, definitely doing this again. Woohoo. Yep. You're going to be seeing another video because I need to make a lot more Christmas ornaments. I have a show in one week. So I need to be making more ornaments today. I like this one the best. This is my favorite. This one and this one. My official two favorites. And I might lost the, the clip on my microphone, so I'm having to hold it with one hand. I gotta figure that out. Use a bobby pin or something. All right, here we go. Latest ornaments. Won't be the last. Uh -huh. Bye guys. Got my, yeah. Hey, is everybody ready for Christmas? No. So I've been experimenting. 